Hello my friends! Welcome to the 30 days rank push challenge, where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight. We're on day 10 today. Here you have the full upload plan for the challenge. Today we will talk about three defensive items. Radiant armor, blade armor and twilight armor. Today's keyword is armor. Creative, right? Giveaway infos are in the description, as always. Now let's continue with the 5 shoutouts of the day. Kirby Ori, Callahan West, Legendary Mystics, Cesario and Glacier P. Bum. As always, write something nice in the comments for the chance to get a shoutout. The giveaway I don't need to mention again, so let's get into the meaty part. First we will go through the stats of Radiant Armor. You get plus 950 HP, plus 12 health regeneration and plus 52 magic defense. This item has one effect. It's called Holy Blessing. Your magic damage reduction increases by 3 to 10 when taking magic damage. This amount scales with your level. It lasts for 3 seconds and can stack up to 6 times. On the left side I use Athena's shield and on the right Radiant Armor. As you can see, against continuous magic damage Radiant Armor works better than Athena's shield because with each hit the passive get triggered. Against one shot mages though you should keep using Athena's shield. So against who should you use this item? It's against all magic damage heroes who deal damage multiple times. Tanks should definitely build this item as first or second core item when playing against those heroes. Other heroes can also include this item as their defensive item. When your enemy has both one shot mages and continuous magic damage heroes you can combine it with Athena's shield to become a magic defensive mountain. Now let's talk about blade armor. We start again with the stats or in this case with this one stat. It gives you plus 90 physical defense. This item has one effect and it's called bladed armor. When receiving basic attacks you reflect 25% of the damage taken to the attackers and slow them down by 15% for one second. I'm using Layla and Layla for the demonstration. As you can see with each basic attack I receive some damage. Simple right? It by the way doesn't work against heroes like Claude or Badang. Although their ults are counted as basic attacks the effect from blade armor is not triggered. I guess you know already against which heroes you can use it. It's against all heroes who deal massive damage with basic attacks. Examples are Leslie, Layla or Hanabi. You can combine it with Twilight Armor since they both work against heroes with high damage from a single basic attack. I will show you it as a last item for today. We start again with the stats. You get plus 1200 HP and plus 400 mana. It also has a unique plus 20% crit damage reduction effect. The passive of this item is called Defiance. It triggers after taking over 600 physical damage. The physical damage is reduced by 20% and also deals 20 plus 4% of the hero's max HP as true damage to all nearby heroes every second. This effect lasts for 3 seconds and the passive has a cooldown of 6 seconds. I'm using Hilda and Tank Layla for the demonstration. First a comparison of the damage with a unique item effect triggered. You can also see the true damage I receive. And now with the passive on cooldown. Here the total difference. You can use this item against heroes with high physical burst damage which usually also have a high crit chance and damage. Examples are Hilda, Aldo or Leslie. As mentioned you can combine it with blade armor. Now go and check out the whole playlist or view a daily viewer. See ya tomorrow. Have a great day.